Hi, Pastor and Mrs. Dan Ku here. Please, allow us to greet you with love in the loving and powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We wish you peace and happiness, and that you and your loved ones are okay and enjoying life to the fullest as this message reaches you. It is not a coincidence that the news about novel coronavirus or COVID-19 is trending around the world. It shocks almost everyone. World leaders and medical experts are doing their best to prevent every citizen from being contaminated by the so-called killer virus. So sad that there is no discovered antidote yet. Is novel coronavirus or COVID-19 a reason to panic? Of course, it is reasonable to react because as humans, we are frail, fragile and susceptible to die that quick and easy. Why does God allow novel coronavirus or COVID-19 and other incurable diseases to happen on earth? The real answer is, God makes a warning and a little foretaste of what's going to happen on earth soon. May God help us to understand his ways. Please, finish watching this video to discover the only escape available for you and for everybody. Let us consider the inevitable curses and plagues that will happen soon as it is written in the Holy Bible. Now, let us compare the killer novel coronavirus or COVID-19 to what is written in Revelation chapter 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways, and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. Two and the first went, and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. 3. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. 4. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. 5. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art, and wast, and shalt be, because thou hast judged thus. 6. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. 7. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. 9. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. 10. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seed of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. 11. And blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. 14. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth, and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. 16. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. 17. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven, from the throne, saying, It is done. 18. And there were voices, and thunders, and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake, and so great. 19. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. 20. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. 21. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Did you know that the will of God for man is to live happily and not die helplessly? Who is our only escape from being destroyed in the coming doom on earth? The only answer is Jesus Christ, the Lord God and Savior. Why do we need Jesus Christ to save us? 1. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. 
2, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 3. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 6 All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. The invitation of Jesus Christ for you. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 6 to 9 Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. 7 Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. 8 For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. 9 For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. How to accept Jesus Christ and be saved? Acts chapter 16 verse 30 to 33 And brought them out, and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? 31 And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. 32 And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. 33 And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, he and all his, straightway. What is the right formula of water baptism? Answer, in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 2 verses 38 to 39 Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. 39 For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Note, what they should repent about is their mistaken idea of who Jesus Christ is. We can see in Acts chapter 2 verse 37 Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart, why? Because they crucified Jesus Christ for thinking that he was an imposter blaspheming God. While the truth was, they failed to recognize him being the only one true God who manifest in the flesh. It is so clear in 1 Timothy 3.16 and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness, God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Also in Philippians chapter 2 verses 6 to 8 who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, seven but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, eight and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Why do we need to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Because of these following reasons, 1 Mark chapter 16 verse 16 He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. 2 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 21 The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. What then if I am baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 to 29 For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. 27 For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. 28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. 29 And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. What must I do after water baptism? Find a church that teaches the same faith of the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 2 verse 41 to 42 it says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. 42 And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayers. 
Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. John chapter 5 verse 39 Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. The Lord Jesus Christ promised to come back to earth to take with him his children and not allow them to suffer the coming doom on earth. This is known as the rapture. 1 Corinthians 15 52-53 In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 53 For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. John chapter 14 verse 3 And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. The main purpose of this video is to give everyone a chance to accept God's plan of salvation. This is for free and does not introduce any church group, sect or denomination. We hope this message helps you to understand God's will for you to be saved and have eternal life with God. Please subscribe and share this video to your relatives and friends. You can use Facebook, Twitter, and other social media sites. Also, you may visit the recommended site in the description area below this video. Again, Pastor and Mrs. Dan Koo here heartily thanking you so much for watching this video. Praying God to bless you and your loved ones more than ever before. To God be all the glory and honor always. See you soon in our coming videos. God bless you.